This is the plant bioscience building. It was newly constructed in the 2000s. This is the plant growth center. You can see all the greenhouses affiliated with the... Uh, this is Haynes Hall. This used to uh, house a lot of the music programs. You can see the dormitories over and behind the Hedges dorms. This is one of my favorite places at Montana State University. The old... used to be a fish pond. Back in the 70s and the 80s, they had big trout from the Fish Technology Center in here. And now, there's just all kinds of ducks hanging around. They've rebuilt it and put... They all come together for major feeding. Look at this. Mom and dad are doing the serious, serious ducky feed. Are you guys having fun feeding the ducks? I'm gonna, I'm gonna film you. <laughs> yeah. Across the street from, across the street from the Brick Beaton Fieldhouse, we have the uh, Montana State. And right across the street from Brick Beaton, there's the Bridger Brewing. It's actually a, a beer brewery, and then Town and Country Foods. It's the south end of the Brick Beaton Fieldhouse. Holds about eight to ten thousand, depending on whether you're using the floor. Um, On the far south side of campus is the Montana State University Bobcat Stadium for football. It now has one of the most prolific kickers of all time, in addition to Dane Fletcher, who out on the Super Bowl. But the stadium, like I said, holds about 21,000 on a busy day, standing room only, and uh, serves as the main playing surface and field. On the other side of the stadium, an, a private development company from Oregon is building hundreds of apartments. You know, modern apartments, it's going to have a major impact on the around campus rental market, to be sure. Um, but as you can see, the, the mountain views of the Bridger Range from MSU Stadium are, are just donated a little over a decade ago, the Margo Joseas Fitness Center. It's a nice fitness center where the kids can come. Lots of machines. This is Gaines Hall. Gaines Hall houses the uh, biology sciences. And of course we have the old Romney Gym built in the 1920s. And it looks like it. Look at the old brick arches. Take kids to the downtown area of Bozeman. So that's a nice convenience that we didn't have back when I was in college. <laughs> Here's the Montana State sub ballroom. So this is the engineering complex at MSU. Built some years back, way down on the end is the old building. It used to be the engineering building, I believe at that time. Over on the left here is the Strand Union building, or the Student Union building as we used to call it. Second building up. <laughs> The Rennie Library, named after MSU President Roland Rennie. I believe he retired in 1954. And then over to the right is Montana Hall, and that's the main administration building. That was dedicated back in the 1920s, as you can tell by the steeple tower and the architecture. This is the old Wilson Hall. houses mathematics and speech communications and English, or at least it did once upon a time. Historic Montana Hall, the front view, like I said, dedicated in the 20s. Um, structure still houses administration at Montana State. They are building the new Jake Jabs College of Business and Entrepreneurship, which will replace the old Reed Hall. It's a far nicer structure. Um, should open in 2016. So this is the new chemistry and biochemistry building. I believe it was completed in 2012. Um, 
and then from there you can walk down and there are the old dormitories. And here is the north-facing side of the Jake Jabs building.